So one of the cool things about the uh, 2016 Pantone colors is there's actually two. So you've got the Rose Quartz and the Serenity. We're using our PK2 Dusty Rose and our BL4 Cornflower um, as representation of this so that we can do a cross-color blend because that's what they're talking about. It's all about this mix of these two colors, a color blend. So we're going to show you how we do this really easy and seamlessly without having to do a lot of um, back over top and multiple color blends. So I'm going to start with the BL4, the cornflower blue, and you can use a bullet or the brush nib. I'm going to use the brush nib and I'm going to take this and put it into the mixing chamber. Remember, you got to hold it upright, let gravity work with you. I'm going to give this a fuse for around about 10 12 seconds. I want to have a good run of some clear uh, toning medium to come out. I really want to go from an absence of color to color. So I'm just going to test that off to the side so I know that that's kind of clear for me. Now I'm going to start at the end and you can even start further in if you want even more white space and you can see I'm just going back and forth and I'm letting the color slowly reveal itself if you want to go in small circular motions you can do that as well it's up to you it's all alcohol ink so it's beautiful and seamless and as I start to color you can see it's getting darker and darker and darker and it starts to go back to the true color which is the cornflower blue now you've got that nice blend that's along there. If you want to darken it up, you can do that too. Now I'm going to flip around. I'm going to go to the PK2. And uh, that's our Dusty Rose, which we're saying is kind of looking a little bit like Rose Quartz. So let me just take this out of the way. And I'm going to flip this around. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to be able to do a cross-color blend. So here we've got our two colors. Again, it looks a little bit like the Rose Quartz and the Serenity. And I'm going to take the uh, PK2 and I'm going to use this on the brush tip side. And I'm just going to take that, I'm going to put that into my mixing chamber. And again, you want to make sure that those nibs meet. And holding that straight up and down, we're going to fuse that color so that it's nicely fused. And we're going to go and get this so we test off to the side and it's, it's just a very light hint of a tint there. And I'm going to start a little bit into the blue and see what's happening is I don't have to worry. It's actually going to blend itself out and it gives you a beautiful, seamless cross color blend where it gives you a really nice effect. So there you have it. You've got our PK2 and our BL4. Those are two of our new colors coming up in April. And it gives you a kind of cool cross-color blend. So kind of mimicking the Pantone colors of the year for 2016.